Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a responsive full screen contact form section with a zoom in scroll animation in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head, head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So what you wanna do is to download it. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here until I get to this area where I can enter my email address. So I'm gonna enter my email address here and click on download. So here is the button to download the files. So I'm gonna click on download the files. So you can see they are downloaded now onto my computer. So the next step now is to navigate and find these files. So I'm gonna go and click on show in finder. And here it is. I'm going to double click on that. And this is going to unzip. And this is the file that we're going to need. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this over to the side for now. And then I'm going to go back and uh, use it in a moment. All right, so the next step now is to head over now to our website. So over here, we want to go all the way down to our DV library. So here it is. I'm going to click on DV library. So what I need to do now is to import that layout. So I'm going to click on import and export, click on import. And now I need to add that file that I just downloaded. And here it is. So I'm just going to drag this over here and then click on import DV builder layout. So let's go ahead and do that. Excellent. So you can see now that it has been imported. So now that we have our full screen contact form, the next step now is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and let's give this page a name, use Divi Builder. So for this tutorial, we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to click on choose pre-made. And what I'm going to look for is a business coach contact page, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on it and then use this layout. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add our background color. So I'm going to click on section settings. And then over here on the background, I'm just going to add my color. I'm going to paste it in here. Now, this color that I'm pasting in here can be found in the link, which I'll add in the video description below. Next, I'm just going to delete this image here because we're not going to need that. And then next, I'm going to add my padding. So I'm going to click here on design, spacing. And so for the padding top, it's going to be zero. And that's also the same for the bottom as well. Now let's adjust the height. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And over here on the sizing, our minimum height is going to be 600. And our height is going to be 104 VH. So the next step now is to add some CSS code. So this CSS code allows us to vertically center our rows. So I'm going to click here on advanced, custom CSS. And we are going to add this CSS on the main element. I'm going to paste it like that. And then we're going to save. The next step now is to drag this contact form and just add it under this area here. So I'm going to come over here and make sure I highlight it. And I'm going to drag it under here. Excellent. So now you can see our contact form is right in this area here. So this contact here, we don't really need it. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that. And we're also going to delete the footer. So all we have now is this, this main area. All right. So now that I have this all set, we need to now go into our row settings. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. And first of all, I need to adjust our gutter width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And I'm going to activate use custom gutter width and set this to one. Now the gutter width is the space between the columns. And then over here for our width, we're going to set this to 100%. And now it's time to go to our padding. So I'm going to scroll down to spacing. And for our padding, we're going to add zero both to the top and the bottom. And for our left and right, we're going to add 7VH. And then we're going to save. Okay. The next step now is to head over to our text module because we need to make a few adjustments to our text here. So I'm going to start off with our main title there. So we're going to go to the size and instead of 70 pixels, we're going to set this to 7VH. But we also need to make some adjustments to the tablet and uh, also the phone. So for the tablet, we're going to set this to 5VH. Okay, there we go. And the same applies for phone. Set the 
this to five. Excellent. Right, so now that we have all our sizes added, it's time now to work on our description here. So this needs to be at 2VH. Then uh, we also need to add our margins. So to add our margins, we need to scroll down to spacing and we need to add 3VH to the bottom because you can see here that our text is quite close to the bottom there. So we're going to add it in here. And now that looks much, much better. Now let's make further adjustments to our form. So to do that, just need to save here and go into our form settings. All right, so let's start off with uh, the design here. So we're going to go to our fields and we need to adjust our fields margin. So I'm going to scroll down here and here's our field margin. So for the bottom, we're going to set this to 3VH. And then for the field padding, we're going to set this to 2VH. And this is both top and bottom. And now let's go to our text size. And this is going to be 2.5 VH. Now let's um, go to our button. And for our button text, this needs to be 2VH. Now let's go to our maximum width. And this is under sizing. So for our maximum width here, we're going to set this to none. So let's just delete that. Now it's time to add our scroll effects. So let's save here and uh, let's go to our section settings. So over here to go to our scroll effects, we need to come to the advanced tab, scroll effects. So what we need here is the scaling up and down. Make sure it's activated. So what we need to do now is to just fine tune and make sure we have the right settings here. So first of all, I'm going to set my middle part here to 75. And then I'm going to make sure my starting scale is at 60%. And then over here as well, this needs to be at 60 and this is fine at 100%. Now over here, we need to target our top element. So to see this working now, we need to add some content onto uh, this page. So let's uh, simulate our content by just adding some um, sections. So we're just going to add a section both to the top and the bottom. Or another way we could do this is by just adding some uh, content from uh, our library. Okay, so let's do that. In fact, that's much better. So let's look for a business coach. So let's go with this one here. So we don't want to replace our content. So I'm going to uncheck that and use this layout. Okay, so now that we have all our sections added, let's just delete this one here that we had added earlier on. So now it's just a matter of rearranging this. So I'm just going to drag this to the top. and let go. So now you can see our form now is working. So the rest of the modules here, I'm just going to delete them because I don't necessarily need them anymore. Let's hit publish. And now let's exit our visual builder. Okay, so now we're here on our main page. So when we scroll, notice what happens to the form. It now comes into to fill up the whole section. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.